We're now going to learn about uh, default and the builder pattern. And actually the builder pattern, uh, we won't do that until the next video. Uh, but uh, just so you know what it is, it's when you have like a, uh, you know, a bunch of functions together where you can say let x equals, uh, let's say we have a struct name and then you have, you know, a default and it gives you this default thing. And then you can do like height 150 dot, uh, I don't know, wait, you know, uh, 100 dot, uh, build. And you, you can have like a whole bunch of other, other, uh, you know, other functions and you, and you chain them together, uh, dot, uh, let's see, alive, uh, true, you know, all, all this stuff. And then, uh, at the very end, you have this, uh, this build thing and it'll check to see if, uh, if everything is okay and then it'll make it for you. And it's a, it's a cool pattern because, uh, as you can see, it, it makes things really easy to read, and uh, and people that uh, that even you know they don't know much Rust, they can they can follow along and uh, and start using uh, your code. But uh, we'll start with uh, with default because uh, that's easy, and uh, the, the builder pattern you see it with uh, with default a lot. Uh, you don't have to do the builder pattern, uh, but uh, but you can, and they work well together. So um, let's see. So defaults, uh, you know, most types have uh, have their own default, and to do uh, default, you just do uh, default default like that. So you you know you specify the type and say uh, give me give me the default, and uh, the default is uh, is always going to be uh, you know for these types it's going to be zeros or. Uh, or you know empty strings uh, stuff like that. So uh, you know there's there are no surprises here. Uh, so if we print uh, print this out, let's see default i8 and default uh, that should be a string, but uh, that's okay, I'll, I'll change it. Uh, so if we print these out, then it'll just uh, give us defaults, which are of course zero, and this is an empty string, so uh, you know it shows up as nothing. Um, so that's uh, you know that's pretty easy. Uh, so let's imagine that we would like you know something that has a default that is not not zero, and we're putting our uh, our character together. So it's got uh, name, age, height, u32, weight is going to be u32, and then life state. Uh, we're going to say life state. So this is uh, you know alive or dead. Characters can be alive or dead, and uh, so this is an enum. Let's make it now, and this is an easy enum. Well, kind of. There are also things that are never alive, like uh, like rocks. They're never alive. They're not dead. And uncertain. Who knows? Maybe there are other forms of life. Uh, so we'll we'll give uh, we'll give it this arm uh, for the time being, and then we will impl character and function new. And this is where default comes in helpful because we have a string, let's see, name is a string, he just if you wait, and you can see where uh, we're going to have to put a lot of stuff into this. Uh, wait, u32, alive, bool, and this is going to return a self, and so we have a self there, and name, age, height, weight, alive, and all oh, right, uh, not uh, life state. That's what it is. So life state is going to be uh, well alive is going to be a boolean. So if alive, we're going to return a life state alive, else life state dead like that. So we've got this simple uh, simple function for a for a character. We're not going to think about uh, never live and uncertain right now. And then we create, we finally create our character. Uh, character and it's new and it's a little bit, you know, it's kind of convenient, but we're still doing all this stuff. Billy to string. Uh, and then we've got, uh, you know, 15, what else do we have? 170, 70 kilograms, true. And so we have to do this every time. Uh, but maybe uh, you know, maybe we have a we have a default character like your average character. Maybe we have like an NPC, uh, and the average uh, NPC you know looks like this, acts like this, 
and we would like to have default. So uh, fortunately, that is super easy. So all you have to do is uh, implement default for character. Let's see, where did that go? There we go. And it's basically the same as, uh, as new, except uh, the function's name is default. And then we just, um, and then we just do the same thing. So this is you know, super, super pleasant. Uh, you know, fortunately, it's, uh, it's basically, it's the same as the, uh, the new function. Uh, you do this Billy to string. So we would like your average uh, NPC to be Billy. Uh, have the name Billy, age 15. Uh, these Billies are 170 centimeters in height, 70 kilos in weight, and uh, life state. Our Billies are alive. So life state alive, like that. So that is, uh, that is quite easy. So all we're going to do is, uh, did we give it? Let's give it... Uh, Let's give it debug. Okay, so instead of uh, character new, now we can just say uh, let character one equals uh, character default, and we have created our Billy, and then we can say uh, the character is uh, I don't know the character doo -doo -doo, is uh, something years old, and then we can print uh, character one. One dot. Uh, actually, we don't need that. Character one dot name. Character one. One dot age, like that. And uh, we can uh, we can print out our character that we have created with default. Oh right, life state. It's going to need that as well. Debug. And. There we go. So the character Billy is 15 years old. So as you can see, default is basically like new, except it's called default. And uh, so that was, uh, you know, we didn't really learn much here, but we're going to use this um, uh, today. This is my last video today, but uh, tomorrow we're going to get to uh, the builder pattern and we're going to uh, use, we're going, going to build on this to, uh, to make a whole bunch of other functions so we can have, uh, you know, we have our default Billy, but maybe we want him to be 20 years old and, uh, you know, anything else. And then uh, at the very end, we're going to do this build thing and make sure that uh, our Billies are um, are within certain certain um, you know, maximums and minimums. Like if um, if somebody if somebody says, uh, I would like to create a Billy of age uh, 200, then we're going to uh, say, you know, you can't do that. And this uh, this final build method is going to do all the checking and uh, return errors and uh, make sure that, you know, uh, that, our, that our billies are uh, the ones that are allowed to uh, exist in our world and don't have like weird uh, heights and weights and stuff like that.